window and door bucks. Window and door bucks are an integral part of the ICF construction process. This section explains the main principles and most common methods of buck construction and installation. The two most common materials used for bucks are wood and vinyl. Some contractors build their own bucks using 2x lumber, while others prefer using a vinyl buck. Please note, experienced ICF installers use a variety of methods for forming and installing bucks. This section only provides a guideline for new ICF installers. In many cases, the specified window rough opening is the size of the buck and the window itself is smaller. In the case of a few window manufacturers, their specified rough opening is the size of the window frame itself and a larger rough opening is required. Verify this before beginning. Choosing the lumber. Historically, full dimension pressure treated 2x lumber was used to construct bucks. More recently, builders who still use wood bucks are using untreated wood with a waterproof barrier between the buck and the concrete surface. Untreated wood is available in higher quality, is easier to work with, and the waterproof barrier keeps the buck straighter. In both circumstances, wood bucks will distort and twist to some degree, which can cause window trim and sheetrock installation problems. Constructing wood bucks. When constructing a wood buck for Anvic 6 inch block, trim 2x12 stock lumber for the top and sides of the buck since the total thickness of the block is 11 inches. This may be done using a table saw. The bottom of the buck should be constructed using two pressure treated 2x4s. This leaves an opening at the bottom of the window through which concrete will be poured and consolidated using a vibrator. Connecting wood bucks to concrete. The simplest way to connect wood bucks to the concrete wall is to drive galvanized 16D nails through the bucks, so the nails will be embedded into the concrete when it is poured. Alternatively, galvanized deck screws can be used. Install the nails or screws every 12 inches at opposing angles to prevent movement of the buck once the concrete has set. Vinyl bucks. Increasingly, builders are using bucks made from extruded vinyl. These bucks come in sections and are commonly cut on site with either a portable power saw or, more conveniently, a compound miter saw. Connectors are used at the corners to tie the cut sides together. The advantages of this include labor is 50% less for vinyl than wood bucks. Vinyl does not rot or decay. Vinyl bucks do not allow moisture to seep into the structure should a leak develop around a window. Vinyl is substantially lighter than wood and curves and rounds are much easier to construct and install. Vinyl bucks can be bent into the desired shape on site and can be ordered preformed. Flanges on the vinyl buck captures the edges of the block at the openings and eliminate the need for gluing and additional cleats and bracing. And material waste is minimal. With couplers, the waste pieces can be rejoined and made fully usable. Some of the disadvantages include that vinyl bucks are not as stiff as wood bucks and require more bracing to prevent flexing and to maintain square and plumb position during the concrete pour. Vinyl bucks are typically more expensive than lumber. Steps for vinyl buck construction. Vinyl bucks come in standard 16 foot lengths with full accessory packages. They can be ordered pre-built to required size, which is recommended since it reduces on-site labor. Packages contain corner connectors, straight connectors, and metal squaring pans. Bracing pans must be used with vinyl bucks. Cut vinyl into required lengths for buck construction. V-Buck is one of the most common types of vinyl bucks currently used with Anvic ICF. Please visit their website at vbuck.com for more information about their product and accessories. Cut a hole in the bottom buck, known as the sill, to allow for concrete pouring and vibration. Insert corner connectors on both ends of the sill. Attach the two side bucks to the sill. Insert the final corner connectors to the two side bucks and install the window or door header piece in place. Insert the corner metal bracings and screw to the sides of the buck. The completed buck is now ready to be installed in the proper location during construction.